still getting a lot of questions on my channel asking me about containment. So today I thought I would talk a little bit more about it, go a little bit more in detail on the kind of containment you need to have for wolf dogs. Say hi, Luna. This is the front part of my containment. You can see the double gate I got here. And we've got about 6,000 square feet. And this is where they mainly stay when we are either asleep or not at home. It's a very sad story, but just a few weeks ago, a couple in Ashland, Tennessee, just shot their high content wolf dog because it was out of control. Um, they had basically no containment, just a couple of hot wires and some cheap fencing. And a sanctuary was on the way to get it. They li apparently lied to the breeder and said they had wolf dog experience as well as containment when they did not. And then when the wolf dog grew up and got out of hand, they just freaked out and the husband just went back there and shot him. So. Again, I can't, you know, reiterate the importance of having knowledge beforehand. Don't go lying to any breeder and telling him you've got good containment and you've got experience with wolf dogs when you really don't. Um, you need to know. You need to you need to know about these animals, and you also need to be able to take care of them. You need to have the money as well. So that's why I'm harping on this more and more. I'm now going to let them out into the play area to get a little exercise and play time. Notice how I do keep a lock on the gate. That keeps them from popping it open and getting out. This is the dig guard. It's a lighter weight chain link fence, uh, four feet I think, and it's attached to the bottom of the fence. Up here are the lean ends. It's tight barbed wire cables without the barbs, so there's no climbing out. And I'm just going to walk around inside here and let everyone get a look. Again, this area is about 6,000 square feet. This is their shelter area where they can get out of the rain or wind and play around if they want. It was originally some kind of chicken coop that was converted to a playhouse and is now a wolf dog playhouse shelter. This is a den the pup started that is going under the dig guard, so I'll have to fill it with bricks and concrete in a day or so. Now we will go out into the play area that is surrounded by Premier One electric net fence predator fencing six feet tall. As you can see, this is a really big area and they have lots of room to play out here. 
This is where they get their exercise and play time and time to just sniff around. This is the other section of it. Um, as you can see, again, there's lots of room out here. Uh, when you first set this up, they'll generally touch it with their nose and they learn real quickly not to touch it again, but you didn't, do need to have it always um, turned on. And you can't just leave them out here unsupervised. Um, a deer or a cow could run through it and knock it down and not pay any attention to the electricity in it. I had this happen when a deer crashed through it one night back when I lived in Tennessee. Looking back over this way, you can see the Rocky Mountains as well as Pikes Peak way back there. There's Bear, my high content, kind of kind of hanging out in his favorite spot and just chilling for the afternoon. This is Luna. She's caching a piece of meat she found out here. They do this quite often out here. Um, it's quite common. With both wolf dogs as well as wolves, they tend to store up food for leaner times. And they have lots of food buried in little holes in this part as well as the other part. Um, one thing you have to do fairly often is to make sure the spikes are stuck in the ground good, um, especially after a big wind. This fencing, predator fencing, goes over and up and down hills relatively easy. This is kind of a flat area, and you can see how it goes up and down, doesn't need any leveling. This was not the case in Tennessee. We had a steep slope in the back, and it went you know, over really well. So here's a pretty good spatial view, wide look at the whole area. Um, that second part over here is a separate containment area that's fenced off just in case two of them get in a fight or something and I have to separate them or, or they have to have surgery or they get injured, they will have to be separated. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment section and I will get back to you. If you like this video and want to learn more about wolves, wolf dogs, and dogs, please hit the like button and subscribe.